Darlings, it's Mummy Sybil Brunchen coming to you live from Cape May, New Jersey. Um, you know how I like to take you to different businesses and everything. Well, here's a really fascinating one. This is the West End Garage. It used to be a big parking garage at the turn of the century. And um, so, but it's been bought and renovated and it's been turned into this amazing emporium of shops and antique places and individual dealers. Look at this, here's the Beach Plum Bakery which is absolutely adorable. Their food is wonderful and they sell products. They sell jams and jellies and cookies and everything here. And then you can go back that way or you can come back this way and you can go all the way through and they've got antique dealers and craft dealers everywhere. So this is definitely a place to come. Look at this. And look at this, women's bathing suits. They've got framed women's bathing suits. This would look, 1920s original wool bathing suit uh, and store mannequin with bathing suit on. It's $950, but look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Jewelry, obviously local uh, May, uh, Cape May magazines and pamphlets, but look, beautiful. A mirror made with the beautiful shells from here. Look at this. Antique dealers, quilts, grills of cars. It goes on, and folk art, and folk collectibles, and crocs, and clothes. It, it's amazing. You get, this is another one of those wonderful antique, multi-antique dealer emporiums where you get lost because it goes back in the back here. Look how beautiful it is too. It's so pretty. And here's the rafters. You can see that this was an old parking garage uh, and mechanics area. And it's all been renovated into this amazing complex uh, labyrinth of the most <laughs> extraordinary and interesting shops and each one has its own name and and dealers here's a whole line of clothes uh, and handbags for the beach beautiful stuff for the beach it's just so fun uh, I, I, this just warms my heart jams jellies honeys honey for sale they've got lots of beekeepers uh, here apiarists I believe what it's called apiary the, the, the good deed doers um, and uh, Look at this. <laughs> it goes on and on and on. Oh, this just makes me feel so happy. So happy. Shore soaps and candles. Cape May creations. Aren't these amazing? Look at this. And then they've got it more antique dealers with American primitive furniture. That's terrific. Um, this is like a Christmas fantasy in here. Um, who doesn't want an, ant an anchor beach bag? For the beach exactly it's so great here misdemeanor very cute um, these people have opened all of these different places hat shops and it goes on and on and on more shopping this way and that takes you back around to the beach plum bakery uh, look at these shells that have been painted and decorated lovely Ju oh my god freshwater pearls look at that wonderful cards Oh, this is fabulous. These are all paintings of local uh, inns and landmarks in the town. And this is a water, Alice Steer Wilson. She must be a local artist that I'll have to investigate, but look at her gorgeous work. Beautiful, beautiful things. So if you're in town, be sure to come to the garage because it is, it's just, an, look at this ceramicist doing these beautiful row house tiles, wonderful. Look, Hawaiian print shirts are being sold. Look at this local craft with with wood, rescued wood and repurposed wood being done this way. It's so lovely. So be sure to come uh, to the garage and see what people are selling here. It's It really is an incredible, incredible place. Uh, <laughs> look at this, found driftwood. It's made into funny little characters. This, you, this you've got to see. Aren't they fun? They are so cute. These are pieces of driftwood that have been used um, to create Christmas ornaments and little refrigerator magnets. It's wonderful, wonderful wicker. Uh, it's a feast for the eyes, I'll tell you right now. It's an absolute feast for the eyes. You could spend an hour in here or more. I especially love this. This is a little toy store and they've got their own children's taco and tortilla set, a sandwich set. Um, what a great diet plan that would be. I wouldn't go shopping anymore for food. I'd simply 
pick up felt and plastic food like this and then play with it and put it in my mouth and uh, obviously not chew or swallow it. And then I would lose weight by the tons and I'd just pop it all in the dishwasher overnight and then start again the next day. That's a real, really interesting idea for a diet plan. Um, I'm going to have to think about that one. All right. So anyway, I'm looping around, but you can see there's more and more and more and more. As far as the eye can see, this place is absolutely a treasure trove. So be sure to come to the garage and uh, check out all the shops, and I think you'll be quite, quite, quite amazed. All right? All right, darlings, on that note, Mommy's going to go uh, travel the world. All right, remember, darlings, be in the world and of the world. Be sure to be present, be mindful, be grateful got to have that dress. Sadly, it's a size 8. <laughs> Mummy's closer to being a size 28. Um, and remember that everything you're seeing and smelling and tasting and hearing and touching and holding in your hand and your heart, it's all borrowed. It's all only borrowed. Have a good day, darlings.